Welcome to our review on the causes of genetic variation. First thing we need to understand then is what causes variation in organisms. So we've got three bits that we need to really concern ourselves with here. Mutations, the formation of gametes and fertilization. If we consider mutation first of all, whenever we're talking about a mutation, we're referring to the change of the structure of the gene. So what we'll find is there's a variety of different causes of mutation. Some of them occur spontaneously, so they don't need any other influence whatsoever, they just occur spontaneously within our cells. If you expose yourself to chemicals in tobacco smoke, that can lead to mutations, as can chemicals used for dyeing materials. The UV radiation from sunlight and ionising radiation like X-rays and gamma rays, they can also lead to a higher degree of mutation. Whenever we're talking about an allele, what we're referring to is a different version of a gene. So this will still control the same characteristic, but it gives a slightly different version. So if we consider earlobes, then there are two alleles for your earlobes. You've got one allele that's to determine that you have free earlobes, and the second allele is going to tell you that you've got attached earlobes. So there's only those two alleles available for earlobes, but for other characteristics, there's a greater number of alleles available. Second one to consider are the gametes. So gametes are the sex cells, so the sperm and the egg when we're thinking humans. And we know that they've got half the number of chromosomes of a normal body cell. And one thing that we need to bear in mind is that each gamete made is genetically unique. So the way that we actually get these genetically unique gametes is because of the way that they're formed. So when the gametes are formed, we get variation in them because during the cell division process that makes the gametes, when the chromosomes come together, they can actually swap over bits of each other with the other in the pair. So this gives us different combinations of alleles, and that's a process called crossing over. The second thing that can happen in their formation is the way in which the two chromatids separate during meiosis is completely random. So what we'll find is that even though we start with the same chromosomes in the normal body cell that are used to make all these gametes, dependent on the crossing over that occurs and how the chromatids separate in meiosis, we get genetically unique gametes. The third and final thing we have to consider is the process of fertilization. So fertilization is random. So in fertilization, hopefully you remember that the nuclei of a sperm joins with the nuclei of an egg and they fuse together. Now, what we find is because it's random as to what egg is released from the mother and which sperm actually makes it to fertilize that egg cell from the father, then we get genetic variation in the offspring. So even with the same two parents, because of the formation of gametes producing genetically unique gametes and because of this process of fertilization being random, then we end up with genetic variation in those offspring. 